So I went in for the scan on my mouth. There was good news and there was bad news. People were asking if we got a new house, if we're moving, how many acres does it come with? My family does not eat. Why do you use a microwave? So we need to catch up. I need to update you on my mouth, what's been going on. I asked you guys to ask me questions on all my platforms and I compiled a big list of just the most asked questions. So I'll be going through everything. Let's just jump into it because I feel like this could be a long video. Except I'm already stalling because I wanted to quickly just give you a heads up about a video I'm posting. I never do this where I am promoting a future video, but on April 20th, which is a Saturday, it's a Mother's Day gifts video or Mother's Day deals video, you need to watch it, okay? Like, I'm not just saying that. I've been working on this for like six months directly with these brands where everything in the video is legitimately 50 to 80% off the regular price. I don't know if you've ever seen the segments on like Good Morning America or the Today Show. I think they call it like deals and steals where everything featured is crazy discounted for like a limited time and there's limited inventory and quantity so people like jump on it. And that's what I wanted to do. There, there's stuff for like you, there's stuff for your mom. I mean, it doesn't just have to be for Mother's Day. Like there's stuff that guys would love. Like there's so many good things in the video. But if you see me post it, you need to jump on it. There's definitely things that are gonna sell out quickly. And then there's other things where there's just more inventory and it might last a little bit longer, but I just wanted to give you a heads up about that. Okay, so let's just start with what you're probably most curious about, maybe even why you're here, but the update on my mouth. So I recently had a scan done um, where they checked the healing, the bone density, just the progression of things. And I'm gonna get to that in a second, but I do just wanna rewind to the last few months because I really haven't talked about it in a while. And just like with how I've been feeling, um, so back in December, I'm sure a lot of you are aware because I documented everything, but in December, I had a surgery where they extracted four of my front bottom teeth. And like, I showed everything. I showed myself talking without teeth. I showed like what I looked like. I bruised, I swelled up, like all of that. So if you missed those videos, I mean, you can, you can go back and watch it. Um, but then I really haven't given that much of an update since just because we've been in the waiting game, the healing stage. So honestly, like for the first, like many, 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 many weeks, I was not really doing that well, like at all. And you couldn't tell from my videos, but it was, I don't know, like it kind of like really scared me because my dentist and like my surgeon was like, oh, you'll be so much better. And like, in a few weeks, like every day is gonna get better. And the surgery was December 5th. And I, or we, my family and I, like we went to Universal Studios in Florida at the end of February. So that was three months after my surgery. And I still was not feeling good. Like I still felt it down my neck. Like I, it was so much more than just like a toothache. It was like a whole systemic thing. And I remember being on this trip with my family when like it was kind of supposed to be like, yay, like I'm feeling better type of a trip. And I, was not. I wasn't even in like the greatest mood for that trip. I mean, it was still fun, but after I got home, I somehow turned like a, a complete corner. Like I have been feeling so much better since then. So much better guys. Uh, like, I feel like I'm a new person finally. Like finally, I'm like, I've got energy. I, nothing feels weird. I can turn my head and nothing is bad. Like it, it's crazy. I, like I feel so much better now. And it's been, I was like on eggshells for like every day I would wake up being like, is everything normal? Like, is something gonna come back again? Basically we're at the, like the semi beginning of April right now. And for like the last six weeks, I've been great. Now let's cut to um, the appointment that I had with my surgeon a few days ago. So I went in for the scan on my mouth for him to look at everything, like really check the bone density, um, check the healing progression, see if we can move forward with the dental implants. And there was good news and there was bad news. Now also leading up to this, like I was beyond petrified. I always get bad news when it comes to teeth. Like if the, the worst case scenario could happen, that's usually what happens to me. So I was scared that they're like, just the, the density of the bone was gonna be really bad. Maybe they were gonna have to do another bone graft. Maybe he would be like, oh, it didn't work. Like I just didn't know what to expect. I was feeling better, but I still was like, 
what, what's he going to say? And I just really work myself up for these appointments. Like I really, really do. I went in and it's like this thing you sit in and it's much better technology these days. Like not even that much radiation anymore because it's not like film. So they took the scan and then um, I went into the consultation room. Dr. Sam came in, he looked at everything. He started talking to me and he seemed extremely pleased, happy. He said, everything looks beautiful, that I'm healing really well. And instantly like the weight went off of me. Overall, like that is the good news. Like he is very happy with the way things are looking. Now, the bad news is my surgery, the dental implant surgery was supposed to be in May. Like it was already scheduled. It was already in his books. Like, it was on my calendar. I've been prepping for that, like planning for that with, you know, just like my work schedule and whatnot. But I guess based on what he saw, like he actually wanted to postpone it a month. Again, like I didn't get the impression that it was bad, but obviously it's not far enough along to do the implants yet. So he wanted to wait until the beginning of June. Then like later on when I was going to leave, I went to reschedule and the earliest surgery appointment he had was June 17th, which is like, even further. So I'm not having the um, the implant surgery until June 17th, which honestly is fine because it just gives it longer to heal for me to like really feel good. And we have some plans already at the beginning of June. So it just, it, the date do, it does work out. But I guess I just wanted to say like this whole process for those of you like that need to have things done or you've been putting it off or whatever. I just want you guys to know like this process is freaking long. Okay. Like it's long, it's worth it, but it is long. So it's like almost a whole year of, of dealing with this. And by the way, guys, I am still wearing my retainer. I never ended up getting that piece like glued in or cemented in. I'm just rocking the retainer. I take it in and out. I love it. Uh, I think most people would never choose to do it this way, but I prefer it. And that's just what I've been doing. So that's the update and cross your fingers that I continue to feel Good. Now, continuing on, um, but I do want to follow up with a question that I, I got a lot of, and it's kind of still involving this whole teeth journey thing. A lot of people ask me if I am still able or still planning on helping other people with their teeth journeys as well, because I, you know, I did say that this is something that it's like close to me. Like this is something I really struggle with. I am so fortunate and blessed that I have the financial means to take care of this and I want to help others. And I'm, I'm, I was very, truthful about that. So I definitely already have reached out to people, sent them money. Um, there was one person that I gave a very large sum of money, five figures to, to help her completely re reconfigure her whole dental mouth. Like she, she was not doing well at all. Um, she's actually hasn't even had it done yet. Um, she needed to get medical clearance. And so she's working with that. Um, so anyway, I definitely am. I, it, I just feel like it's weird to like announce it because then it's like, I'm just looking for recognition and like praise and that's not what it is, but I definitely, I definitely, I, I'm, I'm keeping my word with that. Let's move on to something happy. So I got a lot of questions about Josh. How is Josh? Where is Josh? Josh should be more videos. Josh, 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 Josh. Everyone loves Josh. So he's not even home right now, but he's great. He's great. We're great. Uh, we actually just celebrated our 15 year wedding anniversary, which is super exciting. And to celebrate, I already did put this in another video, but we're going to the masters in Augusta, Georgia. We both love golf. He loves golf more than me, but I still love it too. I don't really play myself that often, but we'll go out golfing. I'll either ride around. Sometimes I'll hit some holes, but I love watching golf. Like people say it's boring. I completely disagree. The masters are a really big deal. I feel like people, you know, wait a lifetime to go and we were able to get tickets. So we are going to Augusta, Georgia on Saturday and Sunday of the tournament. So like the two best days too. So we leave in a couple days for that. Maybe even when you're seeing this, we might be there. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing to celebrate our wedding anniversary. I feel like it's a once in a lifetime thing. I don't know. He's not in my videos that often. He doesn't like love being on camera. I mean, I feel like he's really good at it. He's good though. Okay. Let's move on to this next question. I wasn't planning on doing it next, but I feel like it's a good segue. Uh, so I, a lot of people asked me this in very, ways, but mainly like, do you have a team? Have you hired a lot of people or do you mainly do this all by yourself? And there has been a recent development with that. So again, I, I mainly work with Josh. I mean, we love it. We actually work really, really well together. He's a huge help. But then I also have my editor, Emily, and she's also amazing. I've been working with her for years, but over a year ago, 
I finally hired an assistant and her name is Katie and she's amazing. And I wanna officially introduce you to her because she's here. I think, she, I think she's, Katie! Katie? I think, I think she's in my, I think she must be in my basement. Um, one moment. So this is my assistant, Katie. Hello everyone. So I think you're legitimately a jack of all trades, but why don't you just tell them, I guess, mainly what you do? So I do Chase Nails. Yes, she. I is amazing. I'm sorry, like she's the best <laughs> nail tech ever. So I used to work in a salon. I was a nail tech and I did hair. So I also cut her boy's hair. Yes, and mine. Yes, and, and theirs. <laughs> I also do some organizing for her. I brainstorm, like help brainstorm with videos and looking for products and things for her to try. And what a else lot of I admin do? stuff. Yes, like I'll send yes. her to so many random things and yes. she's just so good at everything. What's interesting, fun fact, we are actually related, but we didn't even know we existed existed, so I always mess this up, but we are second, second cousins, cousins once, once removed. removed. Yes, so her mom uh, texted me randomly like over a year ago and was like, hey, do you need an assistant? And it was her and it's been amazing. <laughs> so while we're on the subject of my channel and you know how I work and team members, I thought I would answer this next question, which I got a decent amount, but this particular one said, do you ever run out of video ideas? Is that why you make so many Amazon videos? And so the answer to that is I definitely never run out of video ideas. I have so many ideas written down, probably over a hundred that maybe I'll film in the future. But the real reason I film so many Amazon videos is because hands down, they perform the best. I mean, without fail, it's very clear that my audience loves Amazon videos. And it's kind of a, an icing on the cake in that those are legitimately my favorite videos to film. I love it. I order so much stuff from Amazon, test things out. I see what's good, what sucks. A lot of stuff sucks. Some stuff is like, eh. And I really try to recommend what I think is actually worth it. And it's really fun. And I can find some really cool things. If they didn't perform well and I, they didn't get like good views compared to my other videos, I definitely would pivot and not do that anymore. But it's very clear clear my audience likes them, which is great. Another good thing about Amazon is their inventory is just so much higher than other places. Like if I do a video with Nordstrom or I link things to like Target, Walmart, like stuff sells out so fast. Like it's really annoying actually that by the time I get a video posted, the half the stuff isn't even available anymore. And that rarely happens with Amazon. That's kind of, I guess, a behind the scenes look at like why, but um, I'm, yeah, if things change, I will pivot. And I've addressed this before, but people continue to ask me if I keep everything I buy for my videos. And the answer is no, there's, there's definitely a lot of stuff. I don't need everything. I mean, some stuff I do keep and I use. Other things I do donate to different organizations that help people in need, families in need, women in need. I very rarely ever return anything. Like, I I could hate something and I won't return it. I will just donate it. So I know I buy a lot, it is my job, but I do feel good that it is going to people that need it or could enjoy it. This next question's kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever been asked it before, but you've never mentioned your dad. Is your mom the only remaining parent? So you're right. I don't think I've ever really talked about my dad, which is weird, but he's alive and well. Uh, he actually lives pretty close to me. But when I was a little kid, my parents got a divorce, like very young, like I was like two. And my mom ended up remarrying my stepdad. And I feel like I've had two dads in my life. Like my stepdad's been very involved in my life. And then my real dad lives nearby. I do still see him, but neither one of my parents, my mom or my dad, like they refuse to be in my videos. I, I know a lot of you want to see my mom. Sorry, she like will not be in a video. I think my stepdad has been in a video one time. But other than that, yeah, I am very close to my family though. All right, let's move on to the other topic that everyone was asking about. People were asking if we got a new house, if we're moving, if we're selling this house. And if you're confused, I did very briefly touch upon this in a previous YouTube video, but you might've missed it. I have talked a little bit more about it on my Instagram, but we did recently purchase a beautiful, stunning, breathtaking log cabin in the mountains. And it's actually only like 40 minutes from here. It's beautiful river, mountain views, and we are not selling this place though. So this is still going to be home base. The log cabin is kind of like a getaway place, but we've had it for about two months now and we have been there every single weekend. It's really just like the perfect location because it's actually closer to the kids' school than even our, our main house. So it's just like such a good like triangle in between location that we can really go there and enjoy it whenever we want. I can even work from there. I fell in love with it 
the first time I saw it and I walked onto the property like almost a year ago and I like dreamt about it for months. I thought about it nonstop. I just felt like it was meant to be. I felt like we were meant to have it. Um, I thought it was listed way too high initially. So we waited for the price to come down. We continued to negotiate. It took a long time, but we finally got it. And it's just the best, this is the best place ever. It's like my happy place. Again, the view of everything is just amazing. The inside, it came fully furnished. That's another reason, like another selling point and that we didn't have to buy or do anything to it when we closed. Like, and I didn't want to change anything. It was beautifully decorated and the original owners, like they put so much time and effort into designing this place. Like there are so many interesting details. Like I would have never been able to recreate this ever or design this or build anything like this. Anyway, another question people have asked is, are we going to, you know, am I going to film a, a tour? Am I going to show the inside of it? And I definitely want to, I just feel like it's so hard to capture it. Like I will film different, you know, videos of it and I'm like, it just doesn't look as good as it does in real life. And so at some point I will, people also ask like, how many acres does it come with? Like, do you have neighbors? Like that kind of thing. So it came with 13 acres, which is like decent. It's not like tons, but it was, you know, decent. But when we were already in the process of buying it, I think during the inspection, we were walking around like the outsource of the property. We ended up meeting um, like a nearby neighbor that owned even more property. And lo and behold, like he wanted to sell it. So, and then the price was really good. So we ended up buying more property. So now we have 30 acres around us. Nobody can build near us. And it is literally like an oasis of perfection. I know I'm sounding really dramatic about this, but it really, really, really has been a dream come true for me. So anyway, I hope to share it with you sometime soon. Next question. And I also got this one a lot too. I know you're on a healthy journey, removing toxins, trying to be clean. Why do you use a microwave? Guys, I know, I know. And that's what I say in my videos that we can't all be perfect. We have to kind of like pick and choose our battles. And you're totally right though. Microwaves are so bad. I can fully agree with that. And I don't use it all the time, but I definitely have one. And when I'm feeling lazy, I will use it, but I run out of the room. Like I run out. Um, I think that there's really bad EMFs that come off of a lot of things. Microwaves are one of the worst thing. Your laptop's really bad, just so you know. Cell phone's really bad. Microwaves are horrible. So if I use it, I'll punch it. I literally make my kids leave the room. I leave the room. It ruins all of the nutrients in the food. Like I'm very aware of that. I really just need to get it out of the house and then I won't be able to use it anymore. It's just, I have one of those stupid kitchens where it like it's there and I feel like it would look dumb if it wasn't there, but I completely agree. I, I am not perfect. And this question, I'm sorry. I'm like prefacing every question. Um, since you don't enjoy cooking, how does your family eat? <laughs> That's what someone wrote, which just made me laugh. Like, because I don't like cooking, my family does not eat. I definitely hate cooking, but my family eats. I do cook. I just don't make anything that great. Like we have rice and veggies and chicken or burgers, boring stuff. Like I'm not like making these fabulous meals. And my husband, Josh, he also cooks. I think my cat's about to walk by me. She's here, Kitster. Okay, what was I saying? Josh also doesn't enjoy cooking, but he will. So we kind of just take turns. It's like a team effort. You can rest assured, my family does eat, but we don't do like meal delivery or like Hello Fresh or anything like that. Well, we do go out to eat though, which is also not great. Next, we're gonna do rapid fire questions. Do you have hair extensions? No. Do you get Botox or filler? No. What is your lip combo in your videos? I'm glad you asked because I brought it down. I knew it was coming. This is the best, best, best lip liner ever. It is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Iconic Nude. That's what you want. Like this is in 95% of my videos. I just line my lips with this particular color and then I'll put something over top. This is just a clear gloss over top. Where do you live? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Go Steelers, go Penguins. I'm a sports fan. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Do you still have a plane? That is one. Maybe it's not gonna be so rapid fire because I still get this question a lot. We had a plane, Josh is a pilot, and we had one. Um, we ended up selling it a, quite a while ago, actually, because we just couldn't use it. I mean, it was too small for like what we really wanted. It was like a good learning experience. If we ever to get like a different plane, it would need to be bigger. So we ended up selling it. Someone approached us and actually wanted, they offered more than what we paid for it. So we were like, okay, we sold it and we were initially looking for a different one, but we kind of just realized 
we don't have time to just be jet setting off to all these places. That's another reason that cabin is like perfection to us because we can actually use it. Like we can actually just go there on the weekends rather than flying somewhere. I mean, it's just, it's, it was too much. So maybe when the kids have grown up and they're off at college or something, we could look into that again because it is pretty handy that I have a pilot for a husband, but it's just not, it's just not the right time for it. Alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna stop there, but I feel better. I feel like we have really caught up. I've shared a lot more of what's going on in my life with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly, really appreciate you guys even caring about me, even in the slightest bit. I love what I do and I just really genuinely appreciate you guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.